Welcome to the French Drayman channel. I'm Robert Sherwood and I'm going to take you back to a system that we did years ago and I'm going to show you how we're going to add on to it and I'm also going to explain why we we're adding on. Okay so this gentleman has a really big silver maple and they grow quick and this tree raised the ground. We're going around this tree to collect all the water because now that the tree lifted the ground, the water can't get out of that corner of the yard. It's a really deep yard, as you can see. This is in St. Clair Shores, Michigan. And this was a monster system. You know, this was several hundred feet of, of French drain. The main is a six inch main. It's the four slot that Boffman Tile makes in the virgin yellow. We're gonna add on and it's super easy to put an extension anywhere you want once you have a main. Once you build that main French drain, you can add on to it, you know, every year if that's the case. If it's a DIY thing where you wanted to get the heart of the, the system built, the foundation, and you knew that your whole yard could eventually use some drain, it's really easy just to go ahead and add a branch off the main and grab the water anywhere. As long as you prepare for it in the beginning, it's super easy to do. So we have these downspouts coming off the patio and our French drain was picking up all the water that this patio, everything that was coming off the rooftop as well as this awning, we were grabbing with a six inch French drain. And the French drain runs deep deep into the backyard. We are grabbing up water everywhere. So this tree, it grows really, really quick. It's a soft maple, silver maple. And the roots are so large now, the more wood you have underground, the higher the ground ends up in elevation. Now, now picture this, you know, tree roots start like a thread. Then it ends up the size of a pencil. Next thing you know, it's the size of your wrist. Next thing you know, it's the size of your torso. So it raises the ground. All the roots, that, that root system just raises the ground. So I wanted to show you guys, you know, just how we went around like a horseshoe, this giant silver maple. And when you're off that far, you're going to pick up all the water that it's preventing because it's preventing the water from you know draining to our french drain system so the homeowner did call us and say hey i'm extremely pleased with how my system has worked over the years having said that we're starting to collect water due to this tree so you can see the stone they're digging right where our french drain ended years ago you got to hand dig when you expose your system you want to make sure that you don't contaminate it. When you do find it, you just go ahead and cut your fabric, your drainage fabric, and then go ahead and remove some drain stone, and expose the pipe. It's a super easy tie-in. You can just tee it in. It's not a problem whatsoever. All right, so we're off the trunk of the tree enough to where it's just not, you know, one giant root after another but it's still close to the tree so as you can see they're taking turns with the axe and even the excavator francisco's got to take the teeth on the bucket and to slowly work at some of the bigger roots so that it's a little bit easier for the guys so yes when you do a drain around a tree you are going to have to deal with some surface roots. Now, a tree this size you will not kill, a tree this size you will not hurt. Matter of fact, the roots that they're cutting, that won't even cause this tree to blow over in a, in a bad storm. Smaller trees, you have to be careful. You have to know what you're doing. Definitely want to talk to an arborist if you go ahead and do something like that. But in most cases, these trees that prevent the yards from draining, they've been around for decades. They're huge. They're well anchored, they're well rooted, so no worries there. Now a lot of people would think, oh, this extension of this French drain, this add-on, this is going to plug up with roots. And if you had a system that held water, that would be the case. We make sure that the bottom of this trench is perfectly flat. 
That's why these guys are working so hard to get this trench perfect. And this is a reality. A lot of people say in the comments section, oh, this is not realistic. What do you mean? You know, are you trying to tell me everybody is, you know, going to cut corners and just be lazy about it and leave an uneven bottom so that there's a bunch of water that the tree roots sniff out? See, we have a lot of passionate subscribers and they're here because they want to do it right. There's another channel on YouTube for the ones that want to cut corners and just build a system with an early expiration date. The kind that hold water and always need to be cleaned out. You see them in their videos pulling roots out of their French drain pipe. You don't see that on this channel because it don't happen. We make sure that that trench is super smooth. We make sure that it is flat as can be. That way the water doesn't have any interruptions and it finds its way out. We actually gravity drain this yard out to the street. And it worked out great. We took it right to the curb. We had to go underneath a sidewalk. No problems. It's a, an amazing system and it will last forever. So this is a beautiful house in St. Clair Shores. This homeowner, we dried up his yard so he can enjoy his home and it will be here for the next person who occupies his home. Our drains do not have an expiration date. And the key is do not leave water behind. And the way to do that is to make sure your bottom of your trench is flat. Now, if you're a homeowner and you're like, hey, you know, you guys do this every day. So you kind of have an eye for it. But what can I do that's realistic as a homeowner? You want to flood your trench with water Be right now. I would flood it right now in the state that it's in. You got the excavation done. You got the dig done. Flood it and make sure all the water goes to that pipe like it's supposed to. If you see water hung up in that trench somewhere, you want to go ahead and take that high spot down that's holding that water in that trench. So it's super, super easy. So see the T right there? It's going to be an easy tie-in. It's not going to be an issue. You can see that's the yellow virgin pipe, and that's the 6-inch. That's what we call the Boffman mini culvert pipe because it's just so strong. It's unbelievably strong. All right, so we're going to run our high octane around this tree because I seen the pictures. The homeowner took pictures, and it's just a lake. Where that swing set was, it's just sitting in water. So I know there's a lot of water that ends up around this tree, and it can't drain out of this yard. We want to go around the tree with the high octane. It'll take in the water faster than any other drain pipe in the world. So Gabby just showed you a shot of a trailer full of dirt. She just showed you how much haul out. This isn't that long of an add-on, it's 75 feet. You know, the original that we did a couple of years ago, or several years ago now, I mean, it, it was several hundred feet of French drain. So this is nothing. I mean, this is just our morning job. Of course, there was an afternoon job afterwards. And uh, that's typically how we normally run, unless, we have a day that there's a health advisory with a 104 heat index. Then, of course, we just do a job and get the guys out of that heat. So we're building it like we always do. You know, we got that inch and a half round rock. It has bigger voids. Now, you can't use pea stone. You don't want to use pea stone. And we tear out a lot of drains that are built with pea stone. Pea stone has a lot of sand in it. It's a lot of dirt. And it holds water. And there's, there's really no void. So you don't have air moving through it. The air that moves through the big voids and the big stone that we use, that helps dry out the yard as well, and people don't realize that. So after the rain event, how does our system dry out a yard? It already moved all the water, and it moved all the water so quick, it didn't really have time to saturate the yard. Well, with all that air circulating through those big voids and that inch and a half cobblestone that we're using, that dries out the yard. That is what keeps the yard firm. It firms up the yard. So usually once we do a drain like this, if the yard's soft from rains from the past you know, weeks, uh, this will just tighten the yard up within a few weeks. That's all it takes. And then it never ever sees that point of saturation again. And wherever we put one of our drains, there's no standing water. So, you know, the guys, you know, they pull this really tight, pull this really tight, trim it, 
you know everything's been systematically done and right now you can see you got a guy spotting the stone he's getting it just right packing it in you know you got another guy pulling the fabric and pinning it you got another guy behind him piecing the sod back together so guys that are out there you know contractors that are trying to get more into drainage this is what you want your crew to look like this is what you you're shooting for this is what you strive for all right everybody until that next video